Hello folks, this is Audiotron 1003 and this time we're reviewing or taking a look at the uh, set number 657 Executive Jet from 1974 um, It's a little more recent than some of the other sets I've recently reviewed because the uh, box artwork has, um, has changed, they now have coloured backgrounds so this is the uh, usual tour of the box, the, the base, the back, okay showing the uh, rocket engine or jet engine, there's one end and then we have the Legoland with the colour bar there and uh, the date says 1974, okay anyway so that's the uh, the box out of the way. Interestingly, I've got this uh, with two extra stickers. Whether they're spares or or what, I don't know, but uh, they'll come in handy. Um, it's another one of those sets from uh, Cheshire Brick Brothers from the Lego Hall. Um, the set comes with 31 parts. There's a lot of plates, mainly in grey and blue. There's the uh, jet engines three wheels, various plates and three printed blue 2x4 bricks and then this stickered uh, tail fin. So uh, as usual what I will do is uh, build the set and let you have a look at the instructions and uh, take it from there. So here it is folks, the executive jet. Um, I had to pay attention uh, a couple of times because it's mainly plates and um, and I didn't want to put them in the wrong place so I'll move the uh, chock out of the way and the thing immediately rolls backwards and crashes into the airport. Um, so this is it. It's a very simple build in terms of its concept. Uh, no specialized sort of uh, wedge plates like the uh, Caravelle that uh, I reviewed some time ago. So it's just built with mainly plates and the printed bricks. This is the uh, the underside, and that's the uh, back end. And uh, it's uh, it just wants to roll around a lot. Um, so this is it really. With most of these sets, there's not really much to show. Uh, the play feature is simply you can roll it around and pick it up and, uh, well, fly it, I suppose. You could take the uh, the wheels off and uh, fly it. So this is the, uh, the jet. Let's put the uh, chocks back there to stop it rolling. And uh, we'll have a look at the instructions. So here they are. Now you have to build this on a flat surface, it's not something you can build in your hand until you've anchored all these plates together. So there you go. So these are all 8x1s and 8x2s. Then you've got your 2x4 and 2x2. Two two. Um, so you shovel them all up together and you start adding things at the front. It's not really stable until you add the bricks. And that's what they are. Then you've got your two by one plates to uh, help support these wings. Tip it upside down. Add some more plates just there. Two by four, two by two, two by eight. Put your wheels on, and then it becomes stable. Then you've just got your uh, wing and uh, jets to put in, and that's a uh, two by three there which fits in after you put the uh, two jet engines. And then down here, we have a picture of, well, everything really. Uh, a rocket, um, a police station, or fire station actually, car, so there's all sorts of stuff all mixed together. And here, you have the, uh, the classic pictures of what's available at the, at the time. One of my all-time favourites. So I have this, 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 
so I've got that as well. Um, I've got this, wondering about that one. And then you have the bigger sets. I have this that has a specialized sort of uh, wedge plates. So that is 687. And you've got this one, and then finally this kind of uh, quarry kind of uh, setup. So, anyway, so this is set number 657, the executive jet. So uh, let's put the chocks back on. Um, so basically that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. Bye.